all our people Bree Slay here aka the beauty plug all that connects you to your beautiful and today on our what's new Wednesday we're gonna have the deets and treats on Gucci Guilty Elixir it just came out it's hot off the press and so you know I had to go get it and bring y'all the tea on the tea on the tea so if you're interested in finding out what my thoughts are on this new guilty Gucci Guilty Elixir then um come on now you know what to do Hey y'all, so I just want to insert a little clip of me and my birthday celebration. You guys did not get a What's New Wednesday last week because your girl was outside celebrating her life and Scorpio season. So shout out to all my Scorpios. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. And now you guys will get content every week on Wednesday because I have a whole bunch of content to give y'all. But um, here's a little insert on what was going on with me last week. Okay, so today's video is going to be on Gucci Guilty Elixir de Parfum. Now, it's going to be an unboxing with you. Yes, I've already smelled it. I've already tested it out in the store. Now, I smelled it. Smelled this about maybe about a month ago um, when I was in Macy's and was like, mm, I don't know. And my sales rep mate in Macy's, Henry, was like, listen. This is going to come out. Try it. And I used to be a fan of Gucci Guilty, the one that came in the black bottle years and years ago. And then, you know, so went into Bloomingdale's because I had $100 rewards recently. And I was like, listen, I need to get me something for my birthday because it's Scorpio season and my birthday is coming. And my birthday is two weeks before and two weeks after I celebrate it. Okay. So for 30 days, I celebrate my birthday. Anyway, so I was going in Bloomingdale's to actually smell um, Alfar or Alfair, however you want to pronounce it, by Creed, the new Creed. Smelled it, was trying to get with it, and just could not get with it. I just couldn't get with it. Like, I tried it. It took forever to dry down the way I wanted it to dry down. And so that was supposed to come to you today on What's New Wednesdays, but I wound up opting out and not getting it. What I got instead was, okay, was Gucci Guilty Elixir de Parfum. Now... This is a 2.0 fluid ounce. It is $175. I wind up paying $84 for it because I had $100 rewards. And so with tax and everything else, all that jazz, it comes out to $189.66. Excuse me. $189.66. So let's get into it. Okay. Let's 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 just get into it on what's new Wednesdays. Gucci Guilty Elixir, does it stay or slay? Now, so to, for $185, for a little 2.2, point, 2 .2, 2 .2, 2 .2 fluid ounce, they have nerve, okay? But supposedly it's elixir, and elixir is supposed to be of high concentration, you know, very potent. So here is the bottle, okay? We have a nice purple bottle and, you know, the typical Gucci symbol, very minimalistic bottle. Now, this is said, and I could see why they're trying to compare this to the new Creed. Um, check out my video on that. I just did a new video on the new Creed fragrance and I have it in my collection. Absolutely love and adore. But supposedly this is, I guess, a little comparison to it. So... Before I get into the juice and spraying it on my skin and on paper, I'm actually going to um, give you the notes. So, this has top notes of Mandora, Violet, Bergamot, middle notes of Wisteria, Rose, and Osmanthus, and base notes, and this is why I probably love this fragrance, of Tonka Bean Patchouli and Vanilla. Now listen, I love me a patchouli, honey, okay? But not just any patchouli, because patchouli has a tendency to smell very earthy, very green. It can also smell a little, a little borderline old lady, borderline grown grown auntie. But on me, patchouli has a tendency to just smell good, especially if it's mixed with vanilla. Any fragrance that has vanilla in it, my skin kind of pulls the vanilla out and it becomes more prominent on my skin. Now, let me, let me explain to you something about this, okay? 
All right. She grown. She not no little, she grown grown. She grown and sexy. She is fall and winter in a bottle going out on a date night, late night, somewhere elegant, somewhere sexy. This her. Okay. Okay. So we're going to spray it on a test strip. And see. Let you check out the automizer. Okay. So on initial smell, I get that Gucci Guilty DNA. I smell the violet, bergamot, rose. Now the dry down is where I get the tonka bean, the patchouli, and the vanilla. I'm gonna actually spray this on my hand. Um, let it dry down for a bit, and then I'm gonna come back to you with what my thoughts are. Does it stay or slay? And clearly I have it, so come on now, okay? So give me about five minutes. I'm going to come back um, and let you know what I think about it, the dry down and all my thoughts. BRB. Okay, people. So I'm back. So this fragrance is very strong. And when I say strong, it's winter weather appropriate or fall fall night appropriate like don't wear this in the summertime it's a no spring it's a no i feel like this fragrance is going to be very long lasting it is sweet and you can smell the patchouli in it but it's not like so Madison Avenue by Bond Number Nine is one of my favorite fragrances. It's actually one my first niche fragrance from Bond um, that was gifted to me, to me by my mom years ago. And when it first came out years ago, I think I believe it was 2016. But this that has patchouli in it, and you can smell the patchouli like it's kind of earthy in there. This, however, you can smell it, but there's also a sweetness on top of it. This doesn't have a peach note in it, but there's something a little musty, not musky, musty smelling about this, but not in a bad way. Like, oh my God, she stinks. Not that way. This is a very sexy fragrance. And for me, whose body eats up fragrance, this it. Like... This, I haven't done a weird, full wear test of this, like getting dressed and going out, but I'm going to wear this. And I think that this is going to be my birthday scent. I have not confirmed that yet. It's either going to be that or a combo between Creed, um, Carmina, and Tribeca, combining those two, or Creed Carmina mixed with Baccarat Rouge Elixir. So yeah, that's a nice little combo. Thank me later. But if not, this will be definitely my birthday night scent. It smells amazing. I could see why it would be compared to Carmina, except this doesn't have the cherry, and I believe Carmina has the cherry, Creed Carmina has a cherry note in it. Um, but this is definitely sexy. This is definitely, has sillage, is definitely gonna turn heads. It is thick, okay? Like, I could see someone in actually wearing eggplant, like eggplant, a nice eggplant velvet, or maybe even suede, or maybe even an eggplant like leather or a fur. Yes, I could see someone with uh, eggplant rich colored, like maybe Sherlin with a fox collar, purple, deep eggplant with a nice dark eggplant lip and some tight leather leather, vegan leather, faux leather, real leather pants and a thigh high boot just killing it with a nice Chanel eggplant bag. Yeah, outfit. Okay, because it's deep, it's rich, it's sexy, it's and sweet all at the same damn time. Like ain't nobody smelling better than you with this one. 
However, I will say you need to go and try this on. If you don't like patchouli, if you don't like Gucci Guilty's DNA, um, Gucci Guilty's DNA can get a little annoying. So I feel like you need to go and try it on. But this, this ain't moving. Like you put this on, it's going to be on for the night. Like you, 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 you're going to have to go wash it off twice. Because the way it's set up, everything. It's, yeah, it's not moving. Yeah, this is going to be the birthday scent for the night. So, does it slay or stay? And I'm going to say it's a slay, baby. So, go check it out. Go get a sample. Get your hands on it. Put it on you. Wear it. Walk around in it. See how you feel about it. And that's going to be on that. Okay? Also, shout out to all my Scorpios. Because, yes, we are officially in Scorpio season. So, shout out to Scorpios, my fellow Scorpios, because we are the, one of the best signs in the whole wide world, of course. So shout out to y'all. Scorpio season is approaching. My birthday is approaching. So I'm getting this out to you guys for what's new Wednesdays. I may even give y'all a little birthday video on a get ready with me to see what I got on and stuff and see my scent of the night. And I'll confirm whether I'm going to wear this Gucci Guilty Elixir de Parfum for the scent of the night or what I'm having on for the scent of the night. So I'm going to let you guys into my world for my birthday. But Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you so much for being there for me, being supporting, supporting my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows you like my content. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just press the subscribe button. Make sure the bell turns gray so you're notified every time I post new content. I post new content every Wednesday. It's a What's New Wednesday content, and it brings I bring you the teats and the treats and the tea on what's new on the market, new to my collection. And then every now and then I'll throw in another interrupt it again. But anyway, every now and then I'll throw in another I'll throw in another video. Um, so I have some more content coming up, guys. Just be patient with me. This is a big transition period for me. It's a lot going on. Life is life in. But I thank you for being here with me anyway. As always, stay elevated, stay humble, stay beautiful, and stay blessed.